Caleb? Yo. Culture hours. What's yeah. the coldest shower you've ever had? That was my question. <laughs> What's it? Um, I think any shower in the middle of winter is the coldest shower you can have. I don't think it changes from, from day to day. Your, your temperature going into the shower is cold? Yeah. 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 Did That's that inspire bad. you to write cold showers at yeah. all? The temperature of your shower? Yeah. In winter? Actually, one time I actually had to shower with no heating and there was no gas because it just like the it's an old building the pump went out so I didn't have any hot water for I think about a week so it was cold <laughs> and I actually had to boil it on a on a um <laughs> in a, like a little stove and like pour it into the bath so it was just cold water and then searing scalding scalding hot water that's yeah. all I had I had no middle ground yeah I that's assume good. the cold showers in the song is more about uh, discipline yeah and uh, would you like to talk about why you want to be disciplined? Yeah. Um, in not in a weird, sexy way. That, that's, uh, yeah, the discipline, uh, the, the cold shower thing was about, um, yeah, self-denial and just like facing, yeah, first thing in the morning, facing something that you don't want to do and it just puts you in a good frame of mind for the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, that's what the song was about because I was doing that as I was recording that song. And I wrote that song a week before we went to studio, pretty much. Yeah, mm. it came together pretty quick yeah. from memory. We yeah. kind of like did a couple of takes and then... Well, we wrote it in studio, didn't we? Yeah. Um, kind of like finished most of it off. The start we didn't do, we didn't have the start because we wrote that in studio. And then we were going to put it at the end. But you told us to put it at the start, Sean, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, genius move by me, obviously. Um, yeah. And I remember, uh... I hated the idea, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Still regret it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was good, it turned yeah. out good. And it opens the um, album just because of that reverb thing that Shrami was trying. And we really liked the clap. Yeah. Uh, and that's it, we liked the counting, so we put it at the start of the album. Yeah. Clancy, do you have, do you have a question about car crash? About car crash? Yeah. I don't hate myself, but I can see I may be easy to love. Yeah, Sean, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Does that upset you how much <laughs> slept on that track? <laughs> and how much of a tight bang of a factory that track is? <laughs> it is a riff after riff. Yeah. A solid goal with Sean Mullins. <laughs> and they just, they just dumped They ghosted him. He's ghosted just like, nah. They left you on red. Yeah. Does that kill you? Uh, oh, well, not until now. I haven't thought about it until now. <laughs> but, uh, thanks. I, I feel like that's a, um, a backhand compliment. There's, there's a compliment in there about my guitar playing. <laughs> it's, yeah, no reflection on the... <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Car Crash was a one that we kind of wrote in rehearsals, it was probably the only one we played together before recording it. One of two, yeah. I think. It was like Smartest Guy and Car Crash, the only two that we played before we in the studio. The rest of them were all kind of <clears throat> just remotely written. Um, and yeah, heaps of fun to play. Lots of it was like just a fun thing to write heaps of different guitar riffs and draw different parts, given that we, it is short and doesn't repeat a lot. Mm. Um, yeah. That's right. Mm. It's a fun one. Banger. And who? Um, and been hit. Did, any, did anyone help us write that one? <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> okay. There was, a, there was a third party, but yeah, we the, shall remain unnamed. We had some help with that one. <laughs> <laughs>